kiss for you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, in this video, I am going to show you how to fetch all the videos from the gallery or the phone directory and show in your Android activity. All right. So, basically, first of all, let me show you what I am talking about. So, I already have connected my phone. So, if we open the app so you will be able to see all the videos here inside a recycler view all right so i will be showing you on how to do that and i will also upload the code in the video description so you can get it from there all right so let's get started so first of all uh, let's go to activity main.xml and we start from here and here you are able to see the recycler view okay here we have the recycler view only inside our main activity then what we are doing is okay so now here we are in the main activity so inside our, our inside our main activity we have to initialize first of all all the controls so first of all we have the initialize method inside our own create method and here we, you can see that we i have initialized the recycler view then we have the recycler view dot layout manager okay so here you can see we have the recycler view layout manager and we have initialized it and we use the new uh, grid layout manager and it is having the context and two two means that we have the two images right by sides okay in, in a row so what we are doing next is we are just uh, setting the layout manager to this recycler view and after that okay so now we also need to create a model class so here you create a new um, you create a new uh, you can see package and inside that package you create a new class which is model uh, sorry video model okay so you when you open the video model here you are using two strings and one boolean okay so here, this is this uh, video path and this is for the thumbnail of the video and then this is the boolean selected so what you do is you just uh, generate the, the getter and setter of these okay these uh, variables then after that what you do is you just uh, initialize the array of type video model of this class which we have uh, just created and then we uh, what we do is we create a new function which fetches all the videos from the gallery okay so let's see what is in this method so here you are uh, you can see that we are using the uri class object then we have a cursor and then we have the index data and the thumbnail so what we do is first of all we initialize the uri and we use the media store dot video dot media external content uri and after that we have a projection okay so here you can see we need the video data then we need the video name then we need the video id as well as the video uh, thumbnail data so we also uh, make a condition which is ordered by and we set it to date taken okay media store dot images dot media dot date taken and here we are initializing the cursor here we are using get application context and using the get content resolver then we use the query method of get content resolver and we pass the uri then we pass the projection and then order by and we need, uh, did a space here and set the descending order okay dsa means descending then we set it is the string oh sorry integer and here we are using the cursor dot get column index or throw and here you we are using the media store class again media store dot media column dot data after that we have this thumb so what is this thumb okay so you are able to see it is also an integer value so what we are doing is we are using the cursor again so we use say cursor dot get column index or throw and here we are using media store dot video thumbnail dot data okay so then we use the while loop so while the cursor is moved to next which means that the next uh, is not empty so what it is doing is it is just setting the string absolute image the path of the uh, video inside absolute path image then we create a new 
model class and we set all the values okay and then we just add it to the array list of type video model all right so now all uh, after the while loop ends so all the videos will be inside that array list then we just create a new mm, custom adapter or a cycler adapter then we just set the first the argument will be the activity or application context then the array list and then this activity so and then we just set the it the recycler adapter to, to this recycler view okay so let's open the video adapter and let's see what is inside that video adapter so you will create a new adapter class by uh, using this adapter package then what you are doing is okay so first of all you need the you need to extend it with recycler view dot adapter and here you will be, you will be using the view holder class and what is the view holder class let me show you first of all okay so here this is the view holder class which extend with recycler view dot view holder and here you are able to see two uh, things image view and the relative layout and you just need to initialize them and where are they present so here you will be able to see okay so you need to inflate the layout so here you are able to see this one okay and here let me show you what we are doing is okay so here we have the linear layout then inside that we have the image okay so it will be the thumbnail image then we also have the relative layout and then we have the image here image view all right so now what we are doing is we are just uh, we created the constructor here and initialized all these okay the context then the array list and the activity object and what we are doing is inside our own create view folder class so we are just inflating the view and after that inside our own bind view folder method we are just going to set the video thumbnail and we use the glide glide library so first of all let me show you the build or gra dot gradle and in here you are able to see this compile glide 3.7.0 so glide is basically an image processing library used to display the images from the url or the or from the internal storage so how you can do that so you can say glide dot with and here you pass context and you say dot load and here you pass the these things okay file slash and uh, you get the thumbnail path and you uh, say skip memory cache and you say into holder dot image view all right after that you just set the color of the uh, relative layout to uh, white and then you just set alpha to zero and after that okay so i guess that was enough but this code is to if you want to embed a video player so i have just used the video player activity dot class so i guess that is enough so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye